tonight, Steve Lee! So, give us a cheer if you like to have the bedroom window at night. Freaks. <laughs> You may as well sleep outside. The whole point of having a house is so you don't have to sleep outside. It's easy. Tramps sleep outside. Tramps have an increased risk of TB and alcoholism. Are you suggesting I get pissed and throw up blood on a daily basis? That's not right. The reasons for having the window open are pretty limp, really. It's, oh, it's too hot or fresh air is good for you. Personally, I can have fresh air all day long if I want it. I prefer my nighttime air to smell vaguely of garlic wafting up from the kitchen or teenage farts from the bathroom. I should really unlock the door for them at night, but if they haven't done their homework, what do they expect? Well, give us a cheer if you live with a murderer. I'm not, I meant to say cat, but I always get those two things mixed up, but it is the same thing, isn't it? Cat and murderer. Um, the other thing about having the window open is listening to the cat murdering small animals on the back lawn. A trip down to the shed means not only do I have to wriggle past the 12 bins that the council now makers use, cardboard, wood, plastic, metal, tyres, furniture, entrails, Dust. But I also have to wade through piles of fur and feathers. It's worse in the house though. It's absolutely worse in the house. Blood seeping into the carpets and the settees. Unbelievable. And there's certain things that Silic Bang isn't very good at removing and mouse brains is one of them. <laughs> it's the smell of death as well and the piles of carcasses and cat sick all over the place. And if the cat stops licking its arse for just two minutes, it'll look up, shrug and say, it all just got a bit out of hand. <laughs> but they are fluffy though, aren't they? And the two kids absolutely adore them. They uh, rub against your leg when they need food and they shit in the flower pot. Well, that's kids these days for you. <laughs> we used to have a great country, didn't we? Before the cats came over here, stealing all our jobs. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> we had a great country. We had a country that we could be proud of. We had a fantastic country. And then it all changed. It all went a bit wrong, didn't it? People laugh at us now. And I'll tell you when that changed. That changed in August 1996. I went away on holiday, and they changed it. Three, two weeks, self-catering so I could avoid the local vegetable. <laughs> oh, mosquitoes, that's another one. Mosquitoes fly through the window and eat your face off. I forgot that one. Anyway, before I went away, before I went away, if you met a woman in the street, you could just say hello. Now, you have to air kiss. Air kissing, what's that all about? 20 years later, I still don't know the rules. Is it one air kiss or two? In certain <laughs> industries, like acting, you could be bobbing your face backwards and forwards all morning before you got any work done. <laughs> Is it acceptable to slip in the air tongue? <laughs> what next? Air fingering? <laughs> Before I went away, I could shave my face with a single blade razor. Now, I have a 15 blade razor with a lubricating strip and a battery to make it vibrate and possibly, just possibly, Bluetooth connectivity. <laughs> what is the purpose of a vibrating razor? Is it to make your cuts more jagged so you, they heal slower? <laughs> pollen, pollen, there's another one. If you suffer even slightly from hay fever, you wake up your eyes stuck together. <laughs> What's breakfast? 
what is breakfast? I'll tell you what breakfast is. Breakfast is bacon, it's sausages, it's eggs, it's tomatoes, it's mushrooms. And if you posh baked beans and sauces, as long as they're red or brown, it is not a selection of cheeses or garlic infused <laughs> meats and a bit of bread that's so chewy that you have to spit it into the bin at lunchtime. <laughs> it shouldn't involve the use of foreign languages. Latte, Italian. Croissant, French. Mucky fucky sucky. I think that's Belgian or something. <laughs> Why can't I say I'll have a coffee and a pastry and I'll have a 20% discount because you're not paying any tax and be done with it. <laughs> <laughs> and don't draw on my drink. <laughs> Do not draw on my drink. Maybe it wouldn't cost £6.50 if it didn't have your art on it. <laughs> I don't want a picture of a coffee bean or a fern perched on an inch of cream. <laughs> Or if it's St. Patrick's Day, a shamrock. I just want a coffee with a dash of milk. It doesn't even have to taste nice. <laughs> just give me my coffee without any pictures on it and without you spitting in it. Oh, and when it rains, the duvet gets soaked. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.